We've been talking about World War II now for a couple of days. Well, today we're finally going to talk about D-Day. So to start with, what does the D in D-Day mean? Doomsday. No, it's not doomsday. Departure. It could be departure. Actually, nobody is one hundred percent sure about what the D in D-Day means. Even the documents we have to study from history disagree. A lot of historians go along with the idea that the D stands for day. That's how the army used this particular letter even back in World War One. They would add numbers like D minus two to mean two days before some particular day, usually the day of some attack, or D plus one to mean one day after the attack. So D day would just mean the day of the attack. But like I said, no one is definite about this. Now, one of the really interesting points about D-Day is that it really fooled the Germans. Six months before D-Day, which was June six, nineteen forty-four, England, the U.S., and the other Allied countries started building fake tanks and fake planes to trick the Germans. They put all these tanks, planes, jeeps, and even fake buildings in this one area of England, down at the bottom, at the closest place to France. They wanted Hitler to think that they were going to attack him there, at that closest point between England and France. They had film crews build all the fake tanks and things, so they looked very realistic to German spy planes flying over England. But the whole time, the Allies were planning to attack an other place along the French coast, Normandy. You can see Normandy here on the map. That's where the Allied troops attacked on the morning of June six, nineteen forty-four. So what happened on the morning of D-Day? Just before sunrise, at about 5:55 in the morning, Allied troops jumped from planes and parachuted down behind the German troops guarding the beaches at Normandy. That wasn't the main part of the attack, though. They were just going to help the men coming in from the sea. Then, at 6 a.m., as the sun started to light up the sky, men in small boats began to land at the beaches of Normandy. The fighting continued until around noon, at which point the Allied forces managed to gain control of the area. So the big battle on D-Day took about six hours, from 6 a.m. until noon. As you can imagine, it was a very bloody morning.